went to the beach, got a little crispy, I put a baby to sleep, one of my nephews to sleep, rocked him, and so I had a good day at the beach. Now we're going to go check out some chocolate at a Annie's Chocolates handmade chocolate candy store. Mom bought us some pecan tarts. Turts, mm. turts, turts, turts. Um, it's always a debate whether to give Mike birthday cake like regular birthday cake without dairy, obviously. Or pecan tarts or pie because Mike loves pecan tarts oh, and pie. Oh yeah. It's, oh yeah, yeah. And these ones are famous. Yeah. Famous, people are ordering them all over, celebrities and everybody else all over the world are ordering these tarts. So Mike signed a little autograph I took our picture. We look real sleepy and beach-like. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thanks, Annie's. This is one of our favorite restaurants. So we just came and had a little bite to eat. A bite Can to you eat. Grab that little thing there under my armpit. A little bite to eat. Um, I have this. A little nibble. There's like a cheddar soup that I like, and some bread, and a little little nibble to eat. You like? Little you have some chicken fingery things. I need to go stop at a pet store because Jackson, I don't know if he's got really bad anxiety or something, but he's coughing a lot and it's making me really sad. It'd make you guys really sad. <coughs> it's so sad. His little body like contracts and it's really, really sad. Anyway, so I'm gonna go try and hit up a pet store and thanks for opening my door. That was nice. Um, yeah, so I need to go to a pet store and try and find um, some something for him to like suck on or swallow. I don't know. That's not really bad. Uh, Mike is wearing his grandfather's hat today. Grandpa's hat. Grandpa's hat. Mike. Mike's grandparents have all passed, but when he was young, really young. Mm -hmm. But your mom is super super cute. She has a coat hanger right at the front door, the front entrance, and she leaves that hat at the top of it so she is reminded of her dad every time she comes down the stairs or is in the entrance i think that's really sweet but she allowed mike to wear it as long as he put it back in the right spot mm -hmm. and it's a really cute hat on you you like it i love it mike and i made it to toronto ontario, ontario. Canada. it is only a little less than two hours from our our town we're here because Mike is going to be doing some things for Target Canada. He's going to be shooting um, some online, like back to school, back to campus um, videos to go online. Um, so we're here. We're meeting our friend, Mr. Beasley. Uh, you probably can't see through that window, but the CN Tower is right there. You probably can't see, but I'll show you later. We're gonna, our hotel's down there. Yeah. It's pretty cool that I'm sitting here and I can see the CN Tower from here. It's a really cool view. Have you ever seen the CN Tower before? Mm. Can't say that now. It's pretty short. <laughs> it's pretty I'm almost short. as tall as it, right? It's pretty up there. And did you know that there's this thing called, what's it called on the top? What do they call it? Uh, Skywalk. Skywalk where you can like attach yourself to the top and then you hang over the edge. Yeah. You hang over the edge way, way up there. And they have place to eat and whatever. A glass floor. I forget how high it is exactly though. It's about it's a few feet. It's a few. It's about but 750 feet. We're not gonna take you guys there. We're gonna take you to their brand new Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, 
we're gonna see how much, how many pounds did the pricey tuna weigh? We're gonna see how much we would weigh. How much did we weigh? How much did we weigh? Over 45. 4, 532 dollars and 30 cents. That's a whole chunk That's of tuna. That's a whole lot of tuna. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fish. Hello. My name's Samuel. I've been floating here all day. <laughs> Okay, what's he thinking? Hello. Oh, this one wants this one wants some camera time. Hey, hey, hey. Wants some camera time. Hello, my name's Samuel. I've been here all day. He's coming up for camera time. Oh, here, get me, get me. Yes, don't forget me. Don't forget me. Here I am. Here I am. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's like an underwater flower garden. It's like where Ariel from The Little Mermaid would have all of her little trinkets. Then she would go, uh, Somebody just said that behind me. Somebody just said what I said. And she'd go, uh, These fish love their spouse. It's funny time, male and female graylings. River intensely beside one another. <laughs> the male fertilizes them. It says, during mating, a male grayling may drape his big dorsal fin over the female to keep her near. Hold your big dorsal fin over top of me <laughs> to keep me near. That is so cute. You guys are the cutest. Tropical fish to the fishies, fishies. Tropical fish to the trip. That's a spore. What? <laughs> Under the sea. Oh, these are the tropical guys. I love these ones. Look how cute. Hello. Hello. Oh, I wish Moose was here. He would. Moose would do the like little pouncy thing. He'd want to play with them. He'd try to play. It's so pretty. Oh, the fish. <laughs> that was cute. This is really cool fish. It's in this tank. Are right, you ready? It's a Rayman sunglasses case. <laughs> Look who's in the tank. <laughs> wow. Wait, why'd you change color? It's gonna go. Goes like different color. It goes like a dark blue. All right, touch the shark. You gonna touch it? You gonna touch it? The touch the shark. Not their face or tail. <gasps> wow. Weird. It feels weird. weird. You should touch it. No, I can touch it. I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. Oh, we have a lot of fun. This is the exit. Out we go. Out we go. Let's go get some din din. Lemmers. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm good. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. See you in a couple days. Love ya.